Hi boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that recording of Nellie and Ned talking about direction and how to use a compass. We're going to be, as you know, your learning intention for this lesson is to understand how to use a compass and to identify north, east, south and west and to be able to describe one place relative to another place using compass points. So what I'm going to show you now is another way to remember north, east, south and west and then we'll have a look at making up our own little acronym to remember which way is north, which way is east, which way is south and which way is west. But first of all you need to have a look at what a real compass looks like. Those are some pretty cool compasses that you just saw. So, with a compass, the little needle on the compass always points to north. So wherever, whichever direction you're pointing, the little needle will always point to north. So you will always know which way is east, south and west just by the little needle pointing to north. But how do you remember north, south, east and west? Well, Nellie and Ned came up with some ideas on how to remember. One of the ways that I always remembered how to remember which way north, east, south and west is, is by saying the acronym, Never Eat Soggy Wheat Bix. That's a bit of a funny one, but here's another one that I'll show you. This one says, Naughty Elephants Squirt Water. Do you like that one? Or do you like my Never Eat Soggy Wheat Bix? How about you have a go at trying to think of your own acronym to remember which order north, east, south and west goes in. So it must go around like a clock, from the top of the clock, around to the right, down to the bottom and then around to the left. So you need to think of your acronym N-E-S-W. What about never eat sour worms? That's a cool one, isn't it? Have a go at writing down some acronyms in your SOS book where you're, where you're putting all your geography work. In lesson two, you learned about cartographic conventions and you learned all about bolts and what they stand for. They stand for border, orientation, legend, title, scale and source. Hopefully, in the last lesson, you filled out this map of Australia called Significant Places in Australia. Did you label all the states and territories, the capital cities that are missing, and filled in the legend, all the things that BOLTS, all the things that maps need to comply with the BOLTS acronym? Well, now we're going to use that same map. So if you'd like to take it out from your source book, do that now and pause this recording. What we're going to do is use our cardinal points on the map. So that's the orientation down the bottom there where you can see north, east, south and west just here. We're going to use those compass points to try and figure out how the direction of some of these places up the side here. Let's have a look at some of the directions of travel using a compass for this table here. If I have a starting point of Canberra, Canberra is just here, which is the Australian Capital Territory, just here, and I want to go to the Daintree Forest. The Daintree Rainforest is up in Queensland, just there. Using my compass here, in what direction will I be heading if I start at Canberra and head up to the Daintree Rainforest? My direction will be north. Did you guys manage to work that out, that you would be travelling north by looking at your compass? Let's do the next one. We're going to start at Darwin. Just here I am. We're starting here at Darwin and we're going to travel to Uluru, which is, another, which is the proper name for Ayers Rock. So let's start at Darwin. Here's Darwin up the top. Oh look, we're going to go down to Uluru. So by our compass here, if we start at Darwin and head down to Uluru, we are going to head in a south direction. Hopefully you're starting to see what I'm doing here while we head to the next one. This one I want you to take some time to use your finger on the map to see which direction we're going to. 
we're going to go from Perth here the word is Perth and Perth is the capital of Western Australia and we're going to go to the Great Dividing Range so let's find Perth on the map looking with your eyes here's Perth and we're going to travel to the Great Dividing Range which is over in Queensland right there the Great Dividing Range so looking at your compass which direction have we travelled in? We've gone from Perth in the west across Australia to the Great Dividing Range. So we are heading, what's the E stand for? Never eat soggy wheat bix. It stands for east. Let's write east on the chart. There we have it. Now for the last one, we're going to go from the Daintree Forest. And do you remember where the Daintree Forest is? That was at the top of Queensland, over here, Daintree Forest. And we're going to head to the Great Sandy Desert. The Great Sandy Desert is in Western Australia, over here. So, Daintree, here's the Daintree, across Australia to the Great Sandy Desert. What direction will we be travelling in when we go back across Australia? Not from Perth to the dividing range, that was east. We're going back the other way now. So following your compass, we're going from east to, what's the W stand for? West, that's right. And there you have it, we'll be traveling west. This same sheet of paper is now in your Dropbox. I'd like you to open it up and using Educreations, or explain everything to fill out the table just like I did there. Use your finger to draw all over the map, use your finger to point the direction that you have to travel and fill in the table just like I did. Once you've done that, save your work, save your work into Dropbox into your special folder. Have fun!